Hey guys, welcome back to the Walking to Telltale's The Walking Dead. This is TJ, your gamer girl, signing on. So we finished up episode one last time, so this time we will do episode two. Start for help. Who you are. I got oh, another shit. good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. <sighs> yeah, I got. I... I wanted her to shoot the zombies. <laughs> this sucks. Uh, nothing is ever easy in these type of games. <laughs> Three months have passed? Really? Interesting. Damn. Hi? What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Well, that's another meal lost. Who are you? I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. <laughs> yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. Mark, We're nice to meet home. you, Mark. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Be glad it wasn't Lily. She would have. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I'll worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He's got a problem with everyone except for his daughter. Larry's just uh, looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. That doesn't and I know Lily stop a father. Weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I would. She's daddy's little girl in his and eyes. Did he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me, 
If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. You can't hit it. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! If I don't think he, I can you can't hit- you didn't hit it. You should have just kept quiet. I might have attracted some walkers too. At least to that area. Oh. Oh shit. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? What the hell happened? Mr. Parker said we should stay off the streets. We were trying to be careful, but... Uh... Lee, this is fucked up, we've gotta help him. Please! Ben, shut up! My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing! No, Just you see don't! If you can get him out! After that, you can leave us or whatever! I don't care! Please! Your dad was special forces, but you're not. I gotta get him out of there! Oh god, thank you! Fine, but you gotta hurry! <laughs> hurry, please, hurry! Lee, oh. oh. uh, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Shit. Really? Oh no. Star shooting, Kenny. Walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Do you think you can get it open? Please! Please. Oh, Jesus, those things this. are gonna be here soon. Oh, uh, that's not working. You use chain like that at the Air Force Base to lift ordnance. You're not you gonna get him out. You have to. Try to cut the chain. Come on, this can't be. Try something. Please hurry. Let's go. Let's go. Why would somebody do this? There's gotta be another way. Sorry, buddy. Why is it... it has to be now. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. I am Damn so it, sorry. Just cut off his fucking leg. We don't have time. Ah, I'm sorry. Ah. We have to go now. Ah. Jesus Christ! One more. Tough it out. Tough it out. Tough it out. Christ! If he's alive, grab him and let's go! Let's hope he doesn't bleed out Behind on the way there. Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Always a wonderful start to The Walking Dead, isn't it? Oh my god.
Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh my god! What's going on? We don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What no, you want? I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Can we argue after we've helped well, the wounded you person? Stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. You are a bitch. Worse than before. Only have four food for ten hungry people. Don't you give me those looks. I'm giving it to- I'm definitely giving some to the kids. The kids get the first bites of the food. End the story. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Apple. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. And... Duck. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? You get... Crackers and cheese. Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! <sighs> That'll keep people from, uh... Getting on my butt for not taking care of the kids. Sleeping any better? No. 
I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. You know that guy can be a real dick sometimes. Yeah, On the other hand, no. giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. Oh well, my Gabe. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. I'll back be back. Here, eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. <sighs> I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The it right was that or leave him in the trap. Sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. <laughs> How about you, Kenny? You look like a jerky man. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. I got one more thing. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. Oh, shut up, bitch. Where's Mark? Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Not all men are, are strong. Jesus Christ. Here. You want him to quit being a pansy? I'll give him some food. Maybe that'll shut you up. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. So long as you don't plan on killing anyone. I'm gonna be nice to you once, Larry. You are strong. Just try not to kill anyone with it, okay? Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. That's Come questionable. On, Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. You're always cranky! Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. 
I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? I gave you the axe. Now left. shut up. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh! Q, 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 Q. Get your hands off! Ah! Excuse me, I was Fuck! Ow! Shit! You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! At least he didn't swing it at me. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If Y'all be willing to lower your guns. We, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange... You give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. 
It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? I'd rather pull up to a gas station, pay five dollars at the pump, and try to find out some dead. Just you. Well, I haven't told anyone. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in the... Who's running things over there? Technically, it's Lily. Lily. She runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there, anyway? Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. I'm sorry? No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided Dad, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fuck you knew we were hungry, and you guys will keep it there's up. There's only two of them. Oh no, there's yeah, a lot you know what? more. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Idiot. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. That was a complete waste of ammo. Not to mention that would bring walkers around to where he is. 